This is the Cessna 336 Skymaster, a twin-engine, high-wing, centerline thrust aircraft that holds a unique place in aviation history, featuring a development and operational history that is as distinctive as its design, embodying Cessna's innovative approach to aircraft engineering. Cessna, a company already renowned for its successful single-engine aircraft, embarked on the development of the 336 Skymaster in the early 1960s, with the aim to create a twin-engine aircraft that would stand out in the general aviation market. The 336's design was revolutionary for its time, featuring a push-pull configuration, with one engine mounted in the nose and another at the rear of the fuselage. This setup was chosen to eliminate the critical engine problem inherent in traditional twin-engine aircraft designs, thus enhancing safety, especially in the event of an engine failure. The 336 made its first flight in 1961, with production commencing in 1963. This initial version, known simply as the Skymaster, was powered by two Continental O360 engines and featured a fixed landing gear and a unique four-seat cabin configuration, which offered excellent visibility thanks to its high-wing design. The 336 Skymaster was marketed as a safer alternative to the conventional twin-engine aircraft due to its centerline thrust design. In this configuration, if one engine failed, the aircraft's handling characteristics remained more controllable than those of traditional twins as there was no asymmetric thrust to contend with. But is it really as revolutionary as they say, or is it just a flop? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Cessna 336 Skymaster. Stepping inside, one of the most significant aspects of the cabin is the ease of access. The aircraft's single rear door located on the left side allows for easy entry and exit. This is particularly advantageous on busy ramps or in emergency situations. The cabin layout is practical and user-friendly. With a width of about 42 inches or 1.07 meters, it provides ample shoulder room for passengers. The high-wing design affords excellent downward visibility and coupled with large windows ensures a panoramic viewing experience that is a delight for both pilots and passengers. The natural light that floods the cabin also adds to the sense of spaciousness. Seating is arranged in a typical four-seat configuration. The front seats offer good ergonomics with reasonable adjustability, which is crucial for longer flights. The rear seats are comfortable as well, though they offer limited legroom compared to some modern aircraft. However, for short to medium duration flights, they are perfectly adequate. In terms of cabin amenities, the 336 is a product of its time, reflecting the general aviation standards of the late 1960s, however. Its simplicity is a part of its charm. The cabin features necessary conveniences like adequate ventilation, heating controls, and standard lighting. Storage space is somewhat limited but sufficient for personal bags and light luggage. Now, let's talk about acoustics and vibration, an interesting topic for the Skymaster. Unlike conventional single-engine aircraft where the engine noise is predominantly at the front, the Skymaster's rear engine alters the acoustic profile. While you might expect this to result in a noisier cabin, Cessna engineers have mitigated this through soundproofing and the natural sound dampening effect of the aircraft's fuselage and wings. The result is a surprisingly quiet cabin for its class, particularly in the front seats. The rear seats are closer to the aft engine, so passengers there might experience slightly higher noise levels, but it's still within comfortable limits for general aviation standards. The aircraft's unique push-pull configuration does have implications for the cabin environment. The rear engine's heat can be felt to some extent inside the cabin, especially during high power settings and warmer weather. However, the ventilation system is generally effective in maintaining a comfortable temperature. Now, let's step into the cockpit. Starting with the layout, the 336 provides a straightforward, pilot-friendly environment. The aircraft features a side-by-side -side seating arrangement, which is standard for light aircraft of its class. The visibility from the cockpit is commendable, thanks to the high-wing design. The expansive windshield and side windows offer excellent forward and lateral views. The flight controls are responsive and provide good tactile feedback, which is particularly appreciated during critical phases of flight like takeoff and landing. One of the unique aspects of flying a centerline thrust aircraft like the Skymaster is the reduced yaw moment due to engine failure. 
making it a safer and more stable platform, especially for less experienced pilots. Moving on to the instrument panel, the Cessna 336 originally came equipped with a basic avionics suite, typical of general aviation aircraft from the 1960s. This includes fundamental flight instruments such as an airspeed indicator, altimeter, attitude indicator, turn coordinator, heading indicator, and vertical speed indicator. These analog instruments are laid out in a classic six-pack arrangement, which most pilots are familiar with. The simplicity of this setup is something that many traditional pilots appreciate, as it provides direct, unambiguous information without the distraction of complex digital displays. The engine instruments are logically placed with the tachometers, manifold pressure gauges, fuel gauges, oil pressure, and temperature gauges, providing critical information about the front and rear engine's performance. The dual engine setup does require pilots to be adept at monitoring and managing two power plants, but the clear and concise arrangement of these instruments aids in this task. The radio stack in the original Skymaster was quite basic, typically equipped with VHF communication and navigation radios, and in some cases, ADF and DME. Modern upgrades often include GPS navigation systems, transponders with ADS-B capability, and more advanced communication radios. The autopilot system, if installed, is usually an aftermarket addition. Models like the STEC 50 or Century 2B are popular choices for SkyMaster owners, providing basic autopilot functions like altitude hold and nav tracking, a boon during long cross-country flights. Now let's talk about the engine performance specifications and how it flies. The 336 SkyMaster is powered by two Continental O360A engines. Each of these engines is a six-cylinder, air-cooled, horizontally opposed piston engine, a design choice that provides a balance of reliability and performance. These engines are capable of producing 210 horsepower each, delivering a combined output of 420 horsepower. The time between overhauls for the engines is typically around 1,800 hours and can vary based on operational conditions and maintenance practices. A well-maintained O360A can sometimes exceed this time between overhauls while harsh operational environments or suboptimal maintenance can lead to shorter intervals. Thrust-wise, the unique centerline configuration of the 336 reduces the asymmetric thrust typically associated with conventional twin-engine aircraft, which means that in a single-engine operation, the aircraft experiences less yaw, enhancing safety and control, especially in critical situations such as engine failure. The aircraft requires approximately 1,380 feet or 420 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a full fuel payload of around 500 pounds or 227 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of around 1,200 feet or 365 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 19,500 feet or 5,950 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of about 155 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 20 gallons or 75 liters. And finally, the aircraft has a maximum range of approximately 930 nautical miles or 1,720 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of about 1,075 feet or 330 meters. Now, let's talk about the price and cost. When it was first introduced in the 1960s, a brand new Cessna 336 Skymaster during its initial production period would have been priced approximately in the range of $27,000 to $30,000 before options, but today, the average price for a used Cessna. 336 Skymaster can range from about $50,000 to $100,000 or more. And while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $20,000 to $30,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $200 to $300. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.